All right, fellow crate clubbers, I've got the June 2023 major crate just came in the mail. So let's pop open this tape and see what came this month. What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future and I'm back with another Crate Club unboxing. A pretty cool subscription here if you're not all that familiar with it. Uh, it comes in a few different flavors. There's like a quarterly subscription they call the General Box and then a few different flavors of the monthly subscription. This is the Major Crate, which is the biggest version of that. Um, if you want to get a good deal on all this stuff, you can follow the link on the screen or down in the description to get signed up. But this is the June 2023 box. And unlike, I feel like most of the other subs out there, Crate Club tends not to have any spoilers anywhere. So it's always a pretty huge surprise seeing what comes every month. So um, let's open this up and we'll see what we got here. All right, here is our guide. We'll take a quick look at this and then I'll kind of unpack the box here and we'll set everything out and take a good look at it. All right, seeing some pretty cool stuff. We've got a grappling hook this month. All right, there you go, Crate Club. We've got a skeletal, a classic multi-tool. All right, let's uh, quit peeking. We'll go in and move over to the side and take a look at all this stuff. All right, so here we go. Now, Crate Club is more of like a tactical prepping survival type subscription. And it looks like we're definitely going on the tactical side of things this month, judging by a few items I'm seeing. We got um, a holster that actually looks like it comes with a light and a uh, grappling hook, all sorts of crazy stuff here. So uh, let's go through. We'll start working down the list here. Um, on the left, we have the Blackhawk Universal Single Point Sling Adapter. And if you're into ARs or that sort of rifle, it says it converts most AR-15 or M4 platforms with collapsible stocks to accept a single point sling that allows for the weapon to hang flat against the body. It's definitely more on the tactical side of things. Let's see if this will pop open. All right, so here we go. Looks like a pretty simple tool that one does one job and does it pretty well. It's ambidextrous, helps your firearm lay flat against the body. Solid steel construction, made in the USA. You can see it's just a simple piece right here, easy to slide on, and you can probably see best from the illustration right there of how it sits on the firearm. So uh, if you're into that sort of stuff, it's probably the reason why you're into this sort of subscription too. So cool first item there, we'll pop that over to the side. It may not benefit you at all if you don't have an AR, but give it to a buddy that does, and they'll be pumped about that. So next up, easy aim, pull and shoot, uh, splash reactive paper targets. All right, so I think these are the kind of targets that the second they get hit, um, yeah, it says right here with the splash technology, um, it just flowers out and clearly shows you where you've actually hit the target. Some, if it's just a hole punch and goes through, it's really hard, especially if you're pretty far away, which you want to be if you're training with a rifle. Um, it's pretty hard to tell where that's going but it's nice in this to have something where you can clearly see where each bullet hit its mark, so cool. Let's roll this out and see if we can take a peek at these real quick. Looks like they're 12 by 12, so foot wide. All right, so I'm gonna roll this out. These are made in the USA, by the way. So just a simple roll of targets here. Looks like maybe it's got some tips or something built into the target. That's pretty cool, but pretty bright. Um, always good to have stuff to practice for shooting with, take it to the range with you, take it to a friend's house that has some land and have some fun outside. So there you go. Easy aim, pull and shoot, um, handgun trainer target. I was wrong about that. I mentioned a rifle earlier. It looks like it's four handguns. I'm sure you could probably shoot with a rifle too. All right, so I slid those back in the box. Let's keep moving on to probably the thing, uh, I know it's the thing that stopped me in my tracks and probably the thing you're thinking about too. But from County Com, we have a grappling hook which says pocket size. Now, if you've watched one of my EDC kit videos in the past, you've seen, I believe this is the dad's EDC kit where I have uh, a little tiny pocket grappling hook. Now, they claim that this is a pocket size grappling hook. Can you fit this in your pocket? Sure. <laughs> but the one I'm used to is like this size. This is actually fairly full size here. This is not a life safety device, so don't hang from it. Uh, so probably more to goof off with it, I would suspect. Um, but like some of these others, you've got these spikes. Um, they come inside here and then we'll just screw this thing all together. You can kind of see how this works. Threaded like any typical screw, you just slide that in there. And then through the magic of editing, I'll put the others on. All right, here we go. All three hooks attached and actually really smooth threading, by the way. I don't know. I didn't look if there's like O-rings or anything inside. Not that you'd really, yeah, there's a little O-ring in the top. Uh, feels well, well machined, which is always nice with this sort of thing, but yeah. You got yourself a grappling hook. Throw this thing in the car and anytime you need to mess this up and using this sort of thing, uh, you're gonna impress the guys with it. Let's see if there's anything we need to know about it. So this says the County Com grappling hooks are used by soldiers in desert warfare to snag trip wires and tear down phone lines. All right. It says you may not be walking through a minefield, but you can use this to get down loose tree limbs and other hard to reach objects. It's made of T6061 aluminum and the spikes are 300 series stainless steel. It says not certified for life support. So again, don't go mission impossible and throw this over a bridge and try to repel from it. Um, but that's pretty cool. It's only five ounces, super light. It does say waterproof storage. I guess that O-ring would play into that. Um, I actually think this is pretty rad. Again, this sort of thing, you're probably not going to go out and pick up on Amazon. It's not in your cart already. 
but having this in your kit uh, is one of those things you can kind of save the day with. I had to throw some stuff over some branches a few weeks ago to get our cat out of a tree. Uh, and this would have been awesome to chuck this up there and use that to kind of thread a pulley system. So uh, pretty excited to see this. This is rad. All right, so from County Com, we got a grappling hook, pocket size. Uh, next up, we're going to move on and see what Uncle Mike sent us. We got the Spiros Multifit Holster. All right, so this is cool. We got a holster. It's designed to fit a semi auto pistol that has an accessory like, built onto it, too, and also includes um, a rail light that fits a Picatinny rail, like on a Glock or something. That's what I have. 150 lumens, and the holster itself is made of high grade glass filled polymer construction. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Got all the details there on the back of the box. I claim 15 yards of visibility for the light. Over 200 different semi-automatic pistols, probably kind of sized for a Glock, and since everybody kind of typically matches that style of firearm these days, um, looks like it's built for that. You know, let's pop this out of here and take a look at it. All right, so here we go. Simple holster there. We've got the system inside with your belt clip. And I guess your ways to attach it and everything. It looks like it has some screw down points where you can clamp it down on here. Um, you know, when they say polymer and plastic, you think kind of thin and flimsy stuff. This feels pretty nice, fairly rigid. It says, do not use without light. That's interesting because it's designed to grip your firearm with your light installed. Uh, so that is rad. You got your screw down, little anchors there. Let's take a look at our light. So we've got this little guy here. Typically there's like a little toggle switch where you hit it with your thumb or your index finger while you're actually holding the firearm. It looks like the on off switch is in the side on this. Okay, is this a CR-123? No, a CR-2 battery. That's interesting. I would have expected a CR-123. And we've got a little um, end cap here, unscrews with um, the side of a pocket knife or a coin or that sort of thing. All right, well, I would have tried the battery in it, but my pocket knife doesn't seem to fit this little ridge here to unscrew it. I don't have a coin nearby, so you just have to take my word for it. Um, it's bright, it looks like it's actuated with the simple uh, tap on and off switch. I wish I knew, I don't know if the packaging will say this. It's nice to have a strobe function in these because a lot of times if you're in a situation where you're using this, um, that can freak somebody out enough or disorient them enough or hopefully you wouldn't even have to discharge your weapon, which is not what you want. Blinding 150 lumen LED, so it's probably just a, a simple light, but cool. When I sell holster originally, I just thought holster, but having the light with it as well is a really cool value add for this. So that is rad. So from Uncle Mike, the Spiros Multifit Holster. Um, cool item, a very Crate Club item right there. Uh, next up we have from Willemson, the Bird Dog. This is fixed edge blade, 440 still. All right, let's see, we got a little patch in here as well. Let's slide that out of there. So if you're looking for a little morale patch, throw that on some hook and loop. That's cool. From Copenhagen, we have a very leathery leather sheath. Feels very soft to the touch. It smells great. A little button release there. Let's take a look at our blade. Very cool. Lots, lots and lots of texture. Almost like the scales of a fish. Um, very, very ridged, which I like. That's actually extremely grippy. Jimping here on the back of the spine. You get like a little a little dip right here going down to kind of the drop point design there. Cool stone washed, kind of dark black and finish, which is really nice. Um, big choil, very, very comfortable. Uh, the Williamson Bird Dog, interesting. Big lanyard thing at the bottom. You got a little bit of a, a pommel there. You probably smack some stuff with it, but nice full tang fixed blade. Probably kind of has some tactical purposes given the box that this thing's found in, but also probably great for sitting around a fire pit. Yeah, G10 scales of texturing, 440C stone wash stainless steel, nice 90 degree spine, big lanyard hole. Yeah, they say take it with you camping, bushcrafting, use it to do simple tasks. Um, good solid knife, three and a half inch blade, just about right. I like for a fixed blade, especially for messing around a campfire, I like about a four, four and a half inch blade personally. Um, this is just enough to mess around with. Very cool. Looks like you can remove the scales too with um, your hardware there. It looks like it's easy to unscrew with kind of a flat head. But I like the nice dark finish. You know, it's hard to tell in this light, but it's almost like kind of a gray with just very, very slight brown undertones. A very cool finish. So that is a great fixed blade there from Williamson, the bird dog. Uh, that is a great little knife. All right. Last but not least, probably the most legendary multi-tool on the market right now is the Leatherman Skeletool. You know, Leatherman kicked it off ages ago with their pocket multi-tool. I'm trying to remember, it was like the PST or some weird abbreviation like that. Uh, but since then, if you're getting a multi-tool, it's almost like saying Kleenex for tissue. Leatherman is almost synonymous with the multi-tool and for good reason. 
Um, I feel like they still make the best ones. I know there's other competitors out there. You've got Sog makes some, you've got Gerber and other brands like that. Man, Leatherman stuff's awesome. 25 year warranties on these, which is killer. I believe they're still made in the USA. I could be wrong about that. Uh, but I actually have a anodized black version of this that lived in my pocket for the longest time before I switched to move um, to carry more of just like a straight up pocket knife and maybe a little bit of a smaller multi-tool. I lived off um, a Leatherman skeletal for ages, but a fantastic tool. You've got um, your classic pliers here. We got some wire cutters built into the jaws there. Kind of a little bit of a needle nose tip, although I don't feel like these are all that needly. They get, don't get in super small places, but as far as most of the things we'll be using pliers for, uh, super, super great. This one needs to be worn in just a little bit. Um, but yeah, you've got your screwdriver down here. So if we go back to that closed position, a lot of times I would just open up the screwdriver thing there. And then you've got a, a great little replaceable multi-head there with two different sizes of Phillips heads. And then buried into the spines, you have uh, these little flat heads right here, which are great. Um, and again, 90% of the tasks that you're going to use this thing for, you have just the bits you need for it. And if not, go grab one of Leatherman's bit kits. Uh, pretty cheap and great way to expand your toolkit. Uh, but this also, you've got a bottle opener built into the edge. You got a little carabiner to hang it on stuff. You actually have a fairly decent pocket clip that keeps most of it buried down in your pocket. The whole thing only weighs maybe five and a half ounces or so because um, it's skeletonized, hence the name, Skeletal. So a lot of uh, multi-tools before this were fairly heavy, 10 ounces or so, but you can see all the skeletalization built into this um, adds up to a lot. Oh, and I neglected to mention the knife blade here, which is actually, uh, especially on this version, a full locking knife blade, which is great. You got a liner lock built in here that you just press in and slide down. So you can actually one hand open this, which is fantastic. But this also has a dual, a uh, dual blade here. So you've got your re regular grind on your blade and then you have some serrations in there as well. Um, so super multi-purpose, even a tiny little soil here for your finger to go to, lots of room in the back for your thumb to rest on as you do deep work. But um, if you're new to the multi-tool world or you've only had the big ones looking for something that you can actually carry every day, man, these Leatherman Skeletal tools are just about as good as it gets. I didn't even have to look at the guide for this because I'm so familiar with this thing. Let's see if they have anything else that jumps out to us. Yep, I pretty much covered it. But this is a fantastic tool. Um, get it, you'll carry it for life, throw it in your truck, uh, throw it in your work bag, keep it in your pocket. Uh, it is just fantastic. One of, I think, the best tools in the market. So that is the June 2023 Major Crate from Crate Club. Lots of cool items. Definitely, I guarantee you, of any subscription this month, a grappling hook is probably the most interesting item <laughs> you're gonna see. I unbox a lot. I have a feeling that is probably one of the most fun items I'm going to see this month. But you got some cool targets. You got a sling adapter. You got a great holster down here, along with a rail light for uh, your pistol. You've got a really great fixed edge knife. Let's get that out one more time. It is a cool, handsome little knife there from Williamson, the bird dog. And then we have the legendary skeletal. So super, super cool sub. Again, if you want to get this one for yourself, um, if you're into tactical stuff, prepping stuff, survival stuff, it's a great box to get. Follow the link on the screen or down in the description. Um, I don't think you're going to regret it. All right, y'all, that is it for this unboxing. As always, if you dug this video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more unboxings and cool stuff like this down the line. We'll see you next time.